Okay, everybody, shush. We're starting soon. Yeah, that's right. Get your popcorn. And your Kleenex. And a little squirt bottle of sanitizer. Wipe your phone off. Gather round, gather your family. We're starting real soon. Ladies and germs, but no viruses. We are very anti-virus here. Well, if you haven't heard, HQ is back in business. And if you haven't heard, why would you open the app? That makes no sense. <laughs> I hope you were playing last night when we made our uh, triumphant return to everyone's phones. You know what I'm saying? Awarding cash money and donating $100,000 to World Central Kitchen and the pandemic relief. And that was just the beginning. So keep on playing for more. You know what I'm saying? More love in the time of COVID. We hope you and yours are staying safe and sane, washing those hands, and looking out for whoever needs some help near you. We're doing our part, bringing families together, you know, giving them a fun mental workout every night, and helping the frontline heroes of this pandemic. HQ's never been more needed, so we are here. And hey, big shout out to all the HQ celebrating birthdays, all right? Marina from Queens, what up, girl? Lenny from the Bronx, I know that was like last week, but happy birthday. Mike from Rhode Island, my girl Aubrey, I see you. Happy birthday, Queen. And uh, a certain fella named MC Hammer. Happy birthday to the Hammer Man. He saw me doing the, the Hammer dance on Instagram. You didn't know Hammer played? He's not just a fan, he took some time out from celebrating his birthday today to send us this. Take a look, take a look at this. It's really going down tonight. HQ is back. HQ is back tonight. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, I'm ready. I know you're ready. Yes, we miss you. It's a beautiful comeback story. Oh, we love it. We love it. HQ is back tonight. Beautiful comeback story. I love it. HQ trivia is back tonight. Oh, yeah. How about that? That's crazy. Too legit. Too legit to quit. That's lit. Happy birthday, Hammer Man. Oh, how about that? We got almost 100,000 people in the game right now. More piling in. Come on, y'all. Get in here! We're having a party! It's an HQ quarantine party of knowledge and learning! Like I said a moment ago, HQ wants to help all the families affected by COVID-19 to connect and learn and be entertained at the same time. Also, also we want to get a look at some of y'all, okay? So one of these nights during the week, tweet us or Instagram us a picture of you and the fam and your phones gathered together to play HQ. We'll see them all and we might just show some of them on the app, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now fame is on the line as well as fortune. Oh yeah, this is a money game as always. Tonight we have 12 questions and we're increasing the prize to $2,500. $2,500, putting it all on the table for whoever wants, you know, some of the money and who's got the brains to walk off with their share, okay? But we're not gonna make it easy. You gotta pass a dirty dozen questions that start off but end up, what, what, huh? Yeah, they start easy, then they get difficult. Woo! And while you're winning that money, we're donating a matching prize to the First Responders Children's Foundation. That's a bunch of beautiful people providing support to First Responders families who are enduring financial hardship due to COVID-19. Check it out. Yes, 
and check them out at first. That's one S T R C F dot org. And give them something if you can, all right? For sure. Now, if you miss a question, you can walk away with dignity or use an extra life to get back in the game with dignity. You can only use one tonight though. So if you want extra lives, you can buy them with HQ coins. And I even have a feeling there might be a gift drop at the end of the game. So make sure you stick around for that, babies. After Q12, we're gonna drop a gift. Yeah. Don't worry, if this is your first game, you'll figure it out as you go and so on and so on. So if you're ready to win some bready, we're charging ahead with question number one. Let's get into it. Q1, what is the capital of North Korea? Billings, Montana, Pyongyang, or London? What's it gonna be? Come on, get with it. We like to start off easy at HQ, so even if you haven't memorized all the world's capitals, we threw in two ridiculous choices to eliminate, okay? No co cooks up their laws in Pyongyang. 94,951 of y'all got that right. It was super easy. Come on, 461. Billings, Montana? What? How? How? That don't even make no sense. All right, here we go. Q2. Let's get it. Which of these animals has paws? Reindeer, lemur, or tiger? Lock in your answer. Lock in your answer. All right. How easy is this one, huh? Everybody's been at home watching Netflix's most popular show ever, Tiger King. I, I, I binged it in like the day it came out. As soon as I saw it, I was like, what? What is this? We all got those tiger paws and the rest of the tiger burnt into our retinas. Tiger! I saw a tiger and now I understand. Throw a tiger emoji in the chat if you think Carol did it. Check the septic tank. 93,400. 36 of you got it right at Q2. Let's go. Here we go. All right, question number three. Which of these salad dressings has a white color? Russian, French, or ranch? Fucking salad dressing with a white color. Okay, French is a distinctly red ketchup-based sauce, and Russian is similar with some mayonnaise thrown in for a pinkish hue. All right, but if America had a national salad dressing, good bet it would be the creamy white ranch. You ever try it on uh, on broccoli? Some people do that, I guess. Ninety-two thousand two hundred eighty-nine of you got ranch. Dip in it, yeah. Whip it, dip it, flip it. If you got eliminated, don't forget to stick around. We got a gift drop at the end of the show, just for you. Okay. Question number four, knocking on your door. Here we go. On what device would you talk to Alexa? Google Home, Amazon Echo, or Home Apple HomePod? What's it gonna be? Alexa, play MC Hammer. Can't touch this. Did it work? Is somebody so it gotta be playing in somebody's house right now? <laughs> gotcha. I don't know which virtual assistant is the best, but when I'm a millionaire, I'm gonna put them all in one room and let them argue it out, okay? But for now, I deal with Alexa on my Amazon Echo. Come on, Alexa. Alexa, stop. Stop it, Alexa. Knock it off. 85,996 of you got it right. Alexa, full volume, play Cisco Strong Song. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> Okay, question number five for the children. Ah, 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 ah. Question five, question five. Let's get it. What type of travel typically causes jet lag? Across the equator, north to south, or east to west? What's it gonna be? Oh yeah, anybody can be exhausted after a long flight, but jet lag is caused by trouble adjusting to a new time zone. And that only happens when you travel on a significant east to west trajectory. 75,280, you got it right. I remember one time me and my sister, we flew down to Georgia from New York and she got off the plane. She was like, I was jet lag. I was like, how? We are it's the same time. The, the time ain't changed. What you talking about? Huh? What you talking about? Question number six. Let's go. 
Rossini's William Tell Overture was the theme song of what early TV star? Milton Berle, The Lone Ranger, or Howdy Doody? What's it gonna be? Come on, get with it. All right, this 1829 fanfare from an opera has had a long shelf life, turning up in Bugs Bunny cartoons, and the theme from You Can't Do That on Television, that was a Dixieland arrangement of it. But it brought boomers running to the TV to watch The Lone Ranger. 68,206 of you got it right. I see some extra lives getting dropped right now. You're smart. That's how you're supposed to use them. Sanitize your hands, girl. Woo-hoo-hoo. We got to take sanitizer breaks during the game. Okay, <laughs> question number seven. Let's get it. Which board game contains equipment for more than four players? Sorry, Trivial Pursuit, or Scrabble? More than four players. All right, many classic board games max out at four players and enforce it by including only four tile racks in the Scrabble box. Likewise, there are only four colors on the Sorry board, but HQ's ancestor Trivial Pursuit gives you six cheese wheels. Come on, you had to know that one. 53,241 of you nailed it. It's time for question number eight. Let's go to work. Question number eight. Know you're feeling great. Question number eight. Said I know you're feeling great. Woo! Booyah! How you like me now? Which of these is not a Barack Obama autobiography? Dreams of my father, change we can believe in, or the audacity of hope? Locking those answers. Obama collectors can find all these in their finer bookstores, but one of them is a collection of speeches and not a proper biography. And that one is change we can believe in. My fellow Americans, <laughs> 26,087 of you got it right. Savage, I'm calling it Savage. Woo! Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Hit him with the shoulders. Yeah. Okay, babies. That was Savage. We're moving on. Question number nine coming at you. Here we go. What is the English translation of the main villain's name in Three Amigos? The handsome, the dark, or the tall? Y'all remember Three Amigos, right? What was the villain's name in English? If his name was El Alto, then we could think of him as the tall, right? And El, El As Oscuro, <laughs> that would do if he was the dark. But his real name, El Guapo, that's what some of y'all be calling me in the DMs, is Spanish for the handsome. Well, thank you. Okay, 19,551 of you got it right. The handsome, El Guapo. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get in. I'm so excited, I'm happy to be back. We're here every night. By the way, my rings and bling, shout out to my man, Ray Moses. I'm not married, but I love you, Mandy. We, gonna, we might get married. We spending so much time in this quarantine. Okay, question, I love you so much, girl. Question number 10, here we go. Which of these hit songs is by the band with the largest number in its name? Head Like a Hole, Vent, or semi tom Life? What's it gonna be? Okay, Semi Charm Life is a classic, but Third Eye Blind is nowhere near the biggest number, right? Head Like a Hole by Nine Inch Nails triples it and is still dwarfed by Matchbox 20's Bent. Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. Woo! Savage question song. That's all I'm gonna sing. <laughs> I should say that part. That was savage, huh? <laughs> okay, 6,034, you got it right. You're moving on to question 10. We got two more questions left. Oh my goodness. Come on now. And we're doing a gift drop after question 12, so stick around. Here we go. Question 11. Who starred in the movie that won the most Razzie Awards in history? Adam Sandler, John Travolta, or Judy Dench? Razzies, those are the ones they give out when the movie is trash. Okay. All three of these thespians have made legendary bombs. Most recently, Dame Judy's turn in uh, Cats. But the six Razzies won by Cats and the nine by Battlefield Earth fall short of the ten that were won by Jack and Jill starring Adam Sandler. Oh boy! 
the savage. Yeah, what's happening? Come on. <laughs> we got the final question right here. 4,238 of you are moving on to the final question of the game. Question 12. What's that smell? Yes! We're here! You did it! Be proud of yourself! Air high fives to everybody near you. We shouldn't be anybody but your family. <laughs> or your roommates or something. Question 12, here we go. For all the marbles. Get this one right and you're getting paid. Q12. The negotiating tactic of opening with your final offer is named for an executive with what company? General Electric, General Dynamics, or General Motors? Okay. Controversial among negotiation experts and banned by the National Labor Relations Board, take it or leave it, non-bargaining, is called bolwarism. After the stubborn Lemaire Bolwar, who, uh, he stood firm as vice president with General Electric. 2,123 of y'all just won SQ Trivia! Let's go, baby! Yeah. Woo! Rocket ship! It's a rocket ship! Is it a rocket? Or is it a missile? I don't know, but it's crazy! You just won! Yes! You did that, and now I get to read your names. I hope a dollar make you holler. Retu, congratulations. SEO52, what's up, dog? Phil Real, Real, Real. Jake Sully, you got a tiger. Oh, <laughs> you got a tiger. Chromia Gola, Tapioca Man. What? <laughs> Gadget Go. Bob Zareem. Easter Day. Henry Albiol. <laughs> w Think. And Linda RS17, Uncle Brazy, Uncle Barzy, Uncle Barzy, and Darth Pie. Oh, just to name a few, everybody got a dollar, eighteen, dollar seventeen. That ain't bad. That is not bad at all. Congratulations, babies. Woo woo. Hey, you guys that stuck around, I like y'all so much. It's a gift drop. Pew. Tap it. Tap it like it's hot. See what you got. And then tell me in the chat, where is that? Yeah! Gift drop. Who doesn't love a gift drop? 50% of you got something. Sometimes we put stuff in there. The other half, I'm sorry. You, we, may, we might do one tomorrow, okay? Yeah, it's a gift drop. <laughs> but congratulations to all of our winners. Y'all did that. My name is Matt Richards. I've been your host. Follow me at Matt Was Funny. Follow us at HQ Trivia on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Ah, $2,500 going to y'all, and we got $2,500 going to the founders, uh, the First Responders Children's Charity. That's so dope. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Take it easy, stay safe, and wash your hands. Yeah.